And here we have our first guest, one Mildred Millsap <laughs> from Milton, <laughs> Milton, Massachusetts, <laughs> who has drawn the murder card. <laughs> Mildred, Catherine has, uh, has, has oh. discovered something wonderful about your future, which she will elucidate oh, right now. Oh, you're talking to someone imaginary. <laughs> yeah, when oh. we're talking about the camera, Mildred, oh, Mil Mil okay. Milton. <laughs> I just, I, I miss it. Martinis, cut, cut. Martinis, cut. help. Take two. <laughs> This is I alien. love this part of the interview. Thank you. Thank you very okay. much. Cheers. <laughs> and cheers to you. Salud. If you were to define yourself and you say, Cat Wright is a blankety blank blank, yeah. I mean, what would be in front of the list? Oh, man. Well, the first thing that I, I was imagining like someone else saying it and hoping that the first thing they would say would be friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about you all the time, all the time. All you, it's all about you all the time, all the things that I do. It's all about you. Okay, so now where are we for those at home? We laughed, we cried. No, but I mean physically, where are we? This oh. moment. <laughs> we are at Radio Bean, the Radio Bean Empire. Okay, so when I first moved here, one of my most indelible experiences was was being here, I think it was maybe for a honky-tonk night, mm -hmm. and you were a server. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and you were literally go up on stage with the honky-tonk band <laughs> with your apron and your checks in your hand and like crush it <laughs> and sing these amazing things and then walk off stage and be like, okay, well, sorry, I didn't catch your disco fries or something. And I was like, what is this place? Who is that lady? Like, what's even going on here? It's all about you all the time, all these things that I do. It's all about you, all you, all the time, all these things that I do. It's all about you, all you, all the time. Wake up in the morning, get to work on time, get home in the Every day now, you know I don't mind. I would do anything just to make you mine. You don't have to worry about me running around. You know those days are over since you came. Think about you, you're all I need. I would do anything just to keep you with me. It's all about you, it's all about you. Jared told me when I first moved here, he's like, here's what you need to know. One, you need a remote starter, and two, there's no shame in being warm. <laughs> Cause he always found that people were like trying to be cool, totally. but he would always come in with these giant marshmallow Same. cups. Same, I'm that way. Just Cat and Ryan and a creepy dude in the back driving a down. Bunch of laundry. North Hero. Sorry to call you creepy. <laughs> Thank you for driving, by the way. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Thanks. Whoa. Whoa. hardest thing for us is definitely like Luke who's with us tonight. Um, Barry Sachs has been playing with us almost since the you know the inception of the band like the first Radio Bean years. Um, he has a daughter and he lives in Connecticut. So yeah. <laughs> he's strike one strike two. Yeah so he's not with us all the time yeah. but like Phil who's playing trumpet with us tonight is also in another band. 
the lead of that band just had a baby, so he's been super available yeah. to play with us. They're getting back out on the road a little yeah, bit this, this is summer. All, this is just the dance that happens. It's the dance, but it but I'm, happens. I'm glad that we talked about that, because I see your schedule every week, yeah. and I'm just yeah. like, how are they doing this? Like, yeah. just pra on a practical level. All right. Well, we can, we're not. We can, <laughs> we can, we can Practicality we can, doesn't really factor in <laughs> yeah. to... If I was practical, I probably wouldn't be doing yeah. this right now. Or this way, <laughs> yeah. or with so many people. <laughs> Um, all right, do you want to run her around and go? Um, you're you're going to just go organically visit your bandmates yeah. and check in on them? And they're like, right, right. so. They're going to be like, why are you talking to us? <laughs> you don't they're, normally talk to us. Like, don't you have your own room? <laughs> Wreck your dress. That's fine. I'm, I'm going to trash it later anyway. Yeah. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm not. I'm going to see how the stage is doing, because yeah, I don't know where perfect. we are at in terms of sound check. So... And oh. sing along to some of the songs that are meaningful definitely invokes that spirit of connection and how how like painfully sweet life is because it's so short and because it's so you know we're just these fleshy blobs that like sometimes we do things and sometimes we go listen to other people do things and like <laughs> it's just this moment of being like of seeing things for what they really are because we get really we have our phones and we have the internet and we're every second we can focus our attention on like something outside ourselves and we like forget how weird life is and how short it is and how like little we are and I think people coming and uniting around music and being with you for a journey is like pretty pretty wild. Couldn't be me the cost. All those things they buried underground. Hate to tell you what the scientists do. Hate to tell you where the future's. But oh no, I hate to tell you where we're bound. I hate to tell you. that you're totally being interviewed and required to drive. <laughs> it's like, let's make this as hard for you No, as actually, possible. I like it. I kind of like it, too. Ain't no telling what love can do. Burlington was like this little clamshell, and like as soon as we got there, it just like opened it and it was like, here's the pearl, like, yeah. take it right away. We were totally just enamored. And the first time we played Radio Bean was a Sunday night, and Sunday night is where you put people who maybe don't have a, any fans, you know, or if nobody knows who you are. So right. we got booked at 9 p.m. on a Sunday night. Uh -huh. Excellent slot. 
But what what happened, and this was this was the first magic vacuum moment, was that there just so happened to be this New Orleans style brass band from Brooklyn <laughs> playing that night at Radio. Bean. I love the Mr. Magoo component of your Vermont <laughs> things, where you like step off a girder and it just takes you <laughs> to another more yeah, wonderful place. Yeah, it's really what it was, and so there, it was a high and mighty brass band from Brooklyn, and. Radio Bean was slamming, like it was right. hopping like the hottest Friday night. And we made yeah. like $300 in the tip jar that night, right. which was more than we had ever made That's amazing. in the tip jar or anywhere. And everyone in Burlington was just like, come to our house and like, we want to cook for you and like, you can sleep over and like, this is my band. So like, it was crazy. Like it was the most beautiful, beautiful thing. No, I don't want you back. No, it's not. love being in the car. I always feel really inspired when I'm going somewhere. I hope that you feel so I hope that the pain I caused is gone. My parents split up when I was younger, so I always had two homes and I did a lot of driving in between those two homes. They were about a half an hour from each other. So I spent a lot of time in the car, and then when I learned how to drive, it was like, I felt like my life had finally begun. How are we doing? <laughs> this is why I don't go out during the day. This is why. Because the, the night just covers this yeah. like sh yeah. shadow. The patina is in, like yeah. is enshrouded. It's yeah. just like oh, it's the cold hard light of day. It's like oh god. That's actually literally how I feel. <laughs> no joking. Vermont. Is literally the second least populated state <laughs> in the in the country, yeah. and is the least likely place where any quote unquote anything could happen. <laughs> you really are an adventurer and mm. at heart, but you live in one of the like <laughs> one of the like most off the axis places. There. It's like when I you know the world is this totally unfathomably impossible place to understand or to reconcile and so Vermont is like my safe zone you know I just like <laughs> drive up here and like it all falls away coming home to Vermont and having it be like away from the world feels really good to me don't push me away it's been all day baby. I know you put up with a lot but I give you
just so close to my face. Oh, God. Can we sit here? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, look, clamshells. <laughs> How okay. far up do you think? Okay. I mean. Am I going to die? I was thinking, I'm not walking on that. Don't die. Oh, God. I'm not going to die. I just like this part. I'll okay, I like it here on okay. land. That's good. I'm a land lover. You're a, la you're a land lover, and I'm, and I'm the crazy adventuring guy. Yeah. And I feel like every time I check in on you guys, I'm like, how's it going? How are you doing? Yeah. And it's like, well, this little thing happened, and yeah. this little thing happened, and uh -huh. this little thing happened, and there's never been like, we got our big break. It's <laughs> yeah. like, and which is funny yeah. because that's kind of how our career has been. It's mm -hmm. like, well, when did you, when did you get big? And I'm like, it's kind of like boiling a frog. I mean, not that we're boiled, <laughs> you know, we're still very tepid. Or frogs. <laughs> you're a frog. You're a frog. You're a frog. But it's like, you start. And it's this minor thing, and then it's like, oh, we played New York for the first time, yeah. and we got this amount of money for the next time, yeah. and I, it's it's a pretty interesting way to be a band, and it yeah. feels counterintuitive to any kind of like teenage girl singing into her hairbrush in the mirror dreams, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not the way you think it's going to work. No, for sure, yeah, but that's that's definitely the way it has happened. It's been it's been natural and it's been organic and it's been, you know, kind of, what does it mean to be successful, at least in Vermont, you right. know? To be Vermont famous. Yeah, <laughs> and it means to sell out higher ground. And then the next thing was to do more than one night right in a row and see if you can right. sell 1,600 tickets. I mean, the only thing after that really is just to be the focus of a Vermont PBS television Clearly, special. Clearly, yeah, I mean, so we're just working Vermont on it. Vermont PBS, <laughs> coming at you hot Thursdays. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. But at the end of the day, I just wanna see you with me. When I get you in the dark, gonna let you feel the beating of my heart. I'm gonna let you in. That's when we begin. Your stick. I know I found a stick. <laughs> I am Merlin, man of the ice lake. Oh my god, there's a scar. We look like we're in Game of Thrones. <laughs> we are. We are. We are. We are. This is the next season. I wonder if you could speak to like the Vermont scene and being a touring band coming out of Vermont and how what a strange thing that is. Well, I think everyone that tours out of Vermont knows how hard it is, and that's something that brings people together. You know, being based out of New York or Boston makes so much more sense financially <laughs> and logistically. But yeah, I think there's something about this place that people who are based here get and have a, like, a real deep reverence for that we all, you know, it almost feels like a little secret that we all have. All right, I'm coming out. Here, come out. Well, I think get those mountains over there too. Are we blocking those? <laughs> no, we're just <laughs> wildlife. Wildlife. <laughs> Thank you. Nice low shot too. Uh, I'm just gonna write Bardo in the snow here. Bardo was here. Yeah, yeah. Always be true. You gave me space, you gave me time You've been the love I always dreamed of I swear I made you with my mind You shown me honesty, flawlessly, solemnly Grant 
wanting me Your fidelity Hand in mine It's thought I ought to spend When do you get away? Yeah. What you need to do Well, you can hide your word Concerts are so weird. Like, let's just back up for a second here. <laughs> like, I have an idea. Let's build like a really tall thing and put some people on the really tall thing, and <laughs> let's give them amplification, and we'll make it so loud that it's like literally rattling people's bodies. And then let's also trip everyone out with some insane lights. Like, that's what we do. That's super weird. Right, and then the next step of that is like, people are at a Cat Right show, and I'm Cat Right. Let me be the person yeah. that thinks of the things that yeah. resonates <laughs> through these yeah. energetic bodies and then creates this other wave of energy, and then on cue we'll make people feel, we'll make people laugh, or make people cry, or make people move in like tandem. Thank you guys so much. I think we had time for one more song. I'd love to introduce the band to you. Give it up for Bob Wagner on the guitar. This is Mr. Josh Weinstein on the bass. This is our dear friend, Corey Wilhelm on percussion back there. And Corey's gonna be back at higher ground with his band Bombino soon. This is John Morgan Kim Alk on the drums, y'all. Shane Hardiman on the keys. This is Luke LaPlante on the Barry sax. Jake Whitesell on the tenor sax. Phil Rodriguez on the trumpet, the birthday boy. Thank you all so much for being here. We really appreciate it. It's been an amazing evening. We'll see you next time. This one's called Come Dance.
zero. It'll be, it'll be great, don't oh, worry. We won't show anything. They'll just put a nice, what is it from the 20s where they put the like the soft glare film on everything? Film noir, can you yeah. guys film noir me up? If you could do this all in like five minutes, sure. that'd be good. Up until here, in five up minutes. Up until here, your whole life encapsulated up until this moment <laughs> in five minutes, go cat. Okay. Oh, oh no, that's so yeah, hard. No, we got it, we got it. Okay. Okay. Um, Hello, hello, Captain. Hello. <laughs> we don't got it. We don't got it. Take two. We're in it, by the way. Yeah. The thing that's happening is happening. This is in the shot. Okay. This is in the final <laughs> cut right now. <laughs> oh my god, look at the pile in the oh, back. Oh, that looks great. <laughs> it's amazing. Don't fall asleep. Don't. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> We're like the soccer mom brigade right now. <laughs> we can skid out. We can put this. We can put this soccer mom mobile to the test. Yeah. I think we're good. <laughs> oh, do you in front of you or in front? Of you? <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're all going to the same spot. Um, okay, wait. Before what I do, <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> great. <laughs> A lot of off-camera stuff happening for you viewers at home. <laughs> What's the thing? <laughs> Production funding for this program has been provided by AARP Vermont, Eyes of the World, Green Mountain Harley Davidson, Northfield Savings Bank, TikTok Jewelers, and by the continued support from viewers like you. Thank you.